hi in this video I'm going to show you on how to draw a nut screw using 3d modeling okay, first you have to go to draw and choose the polygon for the polygon we have to enter the number of set usually we're going to use six side of polygon then we have to specify the center point since this is the tree drawing it is not necessary for you to specify the center point you can click whenever you like after that you have to use the circumscribe about circle because we're going to use circle as our reference for the polygon so you can enter the radius of the circle i want to use 24 as my radius so this is the face of the polygon then later i'm going to press push this area The height is supposed to be 20 unit okay now i'm going to create a dome above this nut okay how i'm going to do that first you have to create a ucs or user coordinate system on this particular plane here because the given the world coordinate system is in, is in this direction x y z so we are not flexible to draw a surface on this particular area which i'm showing now so now we have to define our own ucs so to do so go to command and type ucs and enter 3 for the x y z coordinate then later click on this side bring it down for the x axis then go back the particular then come to other side here Okay, now you are done as you can see this is the new xy plane for me okay now i can start to draw first the reference line to find the center point then second to draw a small area of triangle so that i can revolve it so go to draw and choose now you have to draw a reference line first this will be your center line okay now i'm going to draw and choose the poly line to create the triangle it is up to you to create the area of the triangle okay the dimension is up to you okay now you already create a space area here so now what i'm going to do I'm going to delete all the unnecessary line just leave this line as a reference line for the center point now choose the revolve and choose this particular area click then it's going to ask you to specify the axis start point you're going to click from the top here to the bottom here enter so you already got this area here now we're going to subtract this particular area from this particular area here so choose the command subtract first choose this nut area below here then you're going to choose this area here okay now you have successfully created dom you can view that from the conceptual view okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to create the circle on the cylinder on on this surface here so to do so i'm going to choose the common circle and choose specify this is my center point okay the radius i'm going to give a 15 okay now i'm going to uh, press pull this particular area here the height is going to be 100 okay okay now i'm going to create a thread along this cylinder to do so I'm going to choose the cylinder helix and choose the center line on the bottom here center line for the circle okay. 
then okay that two you're going to specify the radius which is 15 then after that since our z direction is on the bottom then i'm going to specify the height on the opposite direction which is minus 60. okay here as you can see we only have a three track so go back to 2d wireframe choose the particular track double click on it you're going to go to the property of the helix okay then the third is going to be 20 the turn height is going to be 3 so that you get the total height which is 60 20 times 3 is 60 okay we already got the track okay now what we're going to do we're going to create a space along this helix okay an area in the form of rectangular rectangular okay so the rectangular that i want to create is 1.5 times 1.5 okay the small rectangular here now what i'm going to do i'm going to revolve this rectangular along this helix here so we can have a better view on the conceptual so choose the sweep click on the sweep okay, choose that particular area then go to the click on the helix click it then you have to wait for a while until the space created as you can see we already created the space here okay have a better look here see you can see the difference between the cylinder and the space that we have created along the helix now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a chamfer on the bottom line here bottom cylinder here so to do so i'm going to draw modify choose the chamfer okay now i'm going to choose the bottom line here okay click okay then distance i want to specify is supposed to be 10. now you have to actually create the chamfer below there as you want to have a clear view you can view from this view here now it is not complete yet because we have to subtract this particular helix from the cylinder here so to do so what you're supposed to do you have to go to subtract choose the particular cylinder first then you have to choose the particular helix area that you want to subtract then you have to wait for a while now you have created the thread okay along the cylinder now you're going to choose this particular helix and delete it okay so now you have successfully created the nut this in the form of screw here okay that's it for this video Thank you so much for watching.